Hey guys, so I'm on tonight to show you how to pack for a six day vacation in the winter to New York City using only a carry-on. So I have packed this bag, which is the international standard size carry-on. It's a 21 inch uh, carry-on bag for my winter vacation with my 70s costume for my birthday. And I'm gonna show you how I did it. So this might be a kind of a long one. Um, okay, so on the airplane, I'm going to be wearing my boots, my winter boots. I'm gonna be wearing a black shirt. Um, hey, Nat. <laughs> I'm gonna be wearing a black long sleeve t-shirt uh, because I'm bringing only long sleeve shirts because I'm going to New York. Um, a pair of jeans and a pair of socks. Okay, these jeans are gonna be what I'm gonna wear while I'm on my trip most of the time. I'm also gonna be wearing my travel scarf, which I will double as a normal scarf while I am in um, New York. It's got a little pocket for my passport and um, it matches everything that I'm bringing. So inside of my bag, I have um, my packing cubes and, um, hi Erica. I have my packing cubes and I'm using three of the four of this set. So these are called the Compass uh, Rose Packing Cubes and you can get them on Travel Fashion Girl's website. Um, so they're called Compass Rose. They're really, really cool. I like them, they're my favorite ones. They come in a set of four. Um, I don't, um, I know you don't have boots now. <laughs> um, I have um, four of them. So they come in a set of four and they're numbered. So I don't really use the number system, but um, I really like them because if you do use the number system, like you can use one for each of your kids or you can use one for shirts. That's kind of how I use them. I just don't really pay attention to the number. Um, I use one for shirts, one for pants, and one for kind of miscellaneous. So um, in packing cube number three, I have four pairs of pants. So I'm gonna show you how to pack these cubes. So this one has um, five shirts in it, or four shirts in it. And so I'm gonna show you how to do that. So it's got four um, long sleeve t-shirts in it, like this. So when you put them in, what you do is you are gonna take, like this one is a sweater, like a black sweater. Um, this is a real good staple to bring if you're traveling in the winter is just a plain black sweater. And you also wanna bring like really neutral colors so that everything goes with everything. Um, hey Jill. Um, so I'm just bringing um, my kind of like my signature colors, which is um, as Nettie says, khaki and black and pink. So um, these are just browns and oranges. Um, so they're pretty neutral. So when you start to pack the cube, you're gonna roll the shirts into the cube and then you're gonna just zipper it up um, before it's full. So you're gonna zipper it up until you, and you just leave like a little hole and then you push everything down. So you smash everything down like that. And then you take your last shirt that you wanna get in there and you fold it like this. And I roll from the bottom roll 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 and then we're going to take the oh, take the arm in take that last shirt and shove it in the hole shove shove and we're going to kind of just shove it in there like this and then zipper it up and you actually have a lot of room i might actually be able to get one more shirt in here if i really tried i just don't want to so then you just zipper it up and you got four shirts in this little uh, packing cube. Um, hey, Diana. So that's how you get four shirts into this packing cube. And then I did the same with the other ones. Um, I have in this packing cube, I'm going to do a pair of normal colored jeans, like blue jeans, a pair of black jeans that have um, lining in them for like the day it's supposed to snow, and one pair of leggings. Um, the nice thing about the leggings is that they can double as jammies. So um, if you wear pajamas or like we're staying in an Airbnb for some of the nights and I'm sure my sister doesn't want to see me walking around the apartment naked. So um, that is what the leggings can double as, um, especially if you sleep in the nude. 
Um, and if you're gonna be staying at a hostel or something, a nice pair of leggings is good to just walk around the hostel in um, or sleep in if you're staying in a hostel or a guest house. So Jason and I obviously are too old to stay in hostels, but we stay in guest houses when we travel pretty often. Um, and so there's like community bathroom and then there's a community kitchen and things like that. So we have our own room, but we have to leave the uh, room to go to the bathroom. So just a pair of leggings and a sweater or like a sweatshirt or a t-shirt, um, depending on the weather and boom, you're good. Um, so, um, in the other last packing queue, um, I have my costume, which is a jumper, um, the, um, Spanx that I'm going to wear under my costume because Avi, um, six pairs of socks, um, my bra, uh, the nude color bra that I'm wearing, but I'm going to be wearing the black one on the airplane and then another pair of leggings. So just as, um, an extra. Um, because it's supposed to be really wet. So um, I brought an extra pair of leggings uh, just in case. So, Sheldon, please don't eat my boots. Sheldon loves to eat my boots. Okay, so I'm gonna move you guys over here. Do, 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 do. Okay, so, as you can tell, the suitcase um, is pretty crazy. So on the other side of this suitcase, I have my pack flat um ditty bag so it's gonna have my makeup it's got all my toiletries my toothbrush all that stuff um hi thanks sheldon says hi back while he's eating my boots um so uh this is um gonna have all my stuff and it packs really flat so it's gonna go on the other side of the suitcase right there and then on that other side as well i'm gonna have my pair of chucks um, I'm going to have my everything bag and this is the bag that I talked to you guys about in a previous video. It just has stuff that I always travel with, like my clothesline, um, some washing supplies in case I need to wash my bras and stuff in the sink. Um, this is going to have my seventies jewelry in it. And this is also the bag that I'm going to be carrying my chucks in while I'm walking around, uh, because these are my stacks that I'm bringing for my costume boo, boo, and they are heavy as fuck. So, uh, yeah, these are things I wouldn't be traveling with otherwise. So this was a real packing challenge. Um, so yeah. And then I have just in the pocket of the suitcase, um, my sleep cap for my perm, an extra pair of wool socks just in case I need them and uh, my cords. So that is what is in, um, my suitcase. And, oh, and then I also have my underpants bag here that Denise got me. I love it. And my special thing for my hair. So those are in the other side as well. So all of that is in my suitcase. Then in my backpack, which is going to be my carry-on. Um, again, I'm going to be wearing this scarf. So I have my travel purse, which is the purse that I carry when I travel. It has a safety strap on it. Uh, can't be cut. And I just have like a small wallet in there and you know, I can carry like my chapstick and things like that. Um, or not really my chapstick, my lip bonbons. Um, I have my duffel bag in there for any souvenirs. So when I come home, I might check my dirty clothes in this and then put my souvenirs in the bag because those are my treasures that I don't wanna be like have lost or broken by the airline. So I'll just throw you know, my dirty clothes into this bag and check this on the way home. I never check bags on the way there. On the way home, I really don't care because it's just dirty clothes. Um, and then I'm gonna have my sleep pillow uh, for my neck when I'm on the airplane, um, my colored pencils for uh, coloring on the airplane, and my coloring book. And then I also put my uh, travel stuff, it, my paper copies of my travel stuff in my folder, um, and that goes in my carry-on. And then um, I'm gonna put my iPad in here um, when I leave that day. And uh, what else? Oh, and then I also have this crazy thing that I always carry with me. So if for some reason my get, my bag needs to be gate checked, um, my bag has a onesie so that I can cover up my suitcase so it doesn't get scratched um, by the airline and so also that I can identify it as mine pretty easily. Um, but I am of the mind that they will have to rip my bag out of my cold dead hands before they gate check it. Um, but it does happen. So there's that. Um, you gotta always be prepared, even for the worst. So that is all the stuff I'm bringing. I'll be wearing my big winter coat on the airplane. Like I said, I'll be wearing my scarf, 
I'll be wearing my boots um, and I will be, so those are the heaviest items. So always wear your heavy items on the plane. Um, as far as jewelry goes, I have like one little pair of gold travel earrings that I wear and uh, maybe one necklace, but don't usually try to bring anything valuable. Um, I do have to go and get a huge pair of hoops for my costume. I realized today I don't have earrings for it. Um, so yeah, and I just, those are the, well, obviously go in my toiletries bag as well. And then for my liquids bag, which is my little gallon bag, that's going to go in my backpack. Also, which I've showed you guys a video of my little gallon travel bag with my few liquids in it. Um, so that will go in my backpack for easy access when I'm going through TSA. Um, I have TSA pre-check, so they usually don't make me pull out my liquids. But if you're traveling abroad, like if, especially if you're going to through Heathrow, they will make you pull your liquids out and they are super strict. So um, carry those in your backpack um, so for easy access so you don't have to unzip your suitcase and be the most hated person in life. So that is my packing challenge of packing for my 70s themed birthday party while going to New York in the winter. That's how you're a minimalist packers, ladies. Again, I'm going to put links in the comments to the Compass Rose packing cubes, um, which are my favorite packing cubes. I'll relink to the um, pack flat um, toiletries bag from eBags that I love. Um, and then if you have any questions, feel free to drop um, a note in the comments and I can put another live video up regarding your questions um, or I can just answer your comments on there. So again, I've got, what is it? Five pairs of pants five shirts, including the ones that I'm wearing, six pairs of underwear, six pairs of socks, a pair of chucks, a pair of stacks, a jumper, a bra, uh, Spanx, and uh, this and that's all in my bag. And uh, yeah, so we are ready to go to New York. Um, I will talk to you guys later. Bye.